right guys welcome back hope you're doing well hope you're all keeping safe now that we've had time to process the news about how massive intend to revamp the specialization system i thought it might be a good idea to talk about my first impressions but also and probably more importantly check out what you guys had to say about this news in the poll that i put out recently see whether this was taken as good news or bad news hopefully you enjoy this one and feel free to voice your opinion in the comments down below. The best way to support me is to watch this video until the end. Drop a like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the vi videos that I'm going to have. And there's probably going to be a lot more videos to come in the next months as we gear up for the new content. I might even start posting build videos when the content comes out. So stay tuned for that. But let's start. Now in case you missed it and have no idea what it is I'm talking about, I'll do a short synopsis of the specialization revamp revealed last week. Massive looked at the specialization system and believed it needed reworking, which is an understatement, <laughs> uh, because it wasn't reaching its full potential. Again, a uh, huge understatement. A new linear level progression system will be introduced, so things like skill variants, uh, specialization sidearms, and signature weapon damage will be unlocked permanently rather than having to manually add and remove individual elements whenever you decide to try out different weapons or different builds. The specialization tree will be reworked to provide uh, more customization and more choice. One feature is there will not be enough specialization points to have every perk on the tree, meaning you are going to have to decide what perks suit the build that you are running. New systems will be implemented to make named enemies vulnerable to signature weapon damage. Signature weapons will be reintroduced to PvP and balancer will be required to ensure they don't become ultimate ambush tools. And lastly, mods, skill variants and sidearms will not be tied to their current specializations. Instead, unlocking these will allow you to use them on other specializations. Uh, the example they gave was the Artificer Hive probably said that wrong, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, with the mortar turret whilst using a survivalist D50 sidearm. Of course, in the current game, uh, all of those three examples are included on different specialization trees, but with this revamp, you will be able to use all of those uh, at once. That's all the information that we've really been given at this point, and I think I'm going to agree with the majority of, of the people on my poll when I say that it sounds promising, it sounds good, but we absolutely need a lot more to really understand how this is all going to work. All right, so here's the results of the poll. Uh, having gone through the comments, uh, I think there are a lot of questions the community had, myself included, that need to be answered before we can really understand how big of a change this is going to be. Obviously, from the poll, you can see, you know, 60 plus percent of people uh, say they need more information. Then you've got a further 20 to 30 percent of people saying, it sounds good, and then you've got 10 people saying it's not great. So at the moment, it's kind of leaning towards uh, people are, are okay with it. They're certainly intrigued by it, but I think ultimately we need more. What I will say is this. Any changes Massive make to the current specialization system with this revamp has to be better than what we currently have in-game. And don't get me wrong, whilst the specialization system wasn't high on my list of changes, it certainly needed a revamp. And... From what's been revealed, it sounds like it's moving to uh, an mmo light type system. The depth of that system uh, is still unknown, and that's why I said light, because we don't know yet. Uh, but I hope it's been fleshed out, and I hope it really provides some meaningful and impactful choices, which is what the devs have said it is there to do, so let's hope it actually does that. We already know uh, there's going to be a way to build towards having instant med kits from the article, Something that I know a lot of PvP players will be very happy to hear about. I myself, I'm very happy to hear about that because I think the majority of people who at least used to play PvP in the Division 1 and don't play it in the Division 2, set, one of the main reasons they stopped playing was this whole instant med kit. Obviously, it's one reason as part of many, but it's certainly a big reason for that. My concern is at what cost is that going to come? Uh, if an instant med kit comes at the cost of, say, I don't know, 30% damage, would that would that trade-off be worth it? It's not likely. Uh, so again, we're going to have to see exactly how these decisions pan out. And I'm going to make a future video on that because I think I've seen a lot of people saying that, you know, these changes from what we've seen might 
be huge for PvP, and I think we have to emphasize the word might. Um, because we really have to emphasize that word, because I don't agree with that. Um, uh, but there is there is a chance, there is an opportunity there, and the instant med kit um, is one of those opportunities. So we'll, we'll have to see what happens with that. All in all, it's very clear that Massive want players to have more choice than we already do, which is really great because you can never have too many choices when it comes to a looter shooter game. And if there's one thing this game already has, right, is a lot of choices. The scale of build choices um, we already have is crazy, and, and this is likely to go through the roof. Some of that's hard to imagine when you really consider that, what, we've had no new content for nearly a year, and that's no new gear, none of that stuff for nearly a year, and yet new build videos hit YouTube on a daily basis. And I, I don't know how people who make build videos, I mean, I've got to applaud you, I don't know how you come up with some of these build ideas, and people are still making new ones, and that's just insane. So if you consider that the build possibilities are going to skyrocket with this change, I imagine, I don't know this for sure, but based on what they've told us, it certainly sounds like it will, then... I'm kind of really looking forward to that, and I think a lot of people who enjoy the building side of this game are really going to like this. If I had to have one concern, and, and I do, I guess I do have one kind of real concern, it's the balancing of all of this, mainly for the PvP audience. Uh, Trick Dempsey did say they want to ensure balancing is done properly, so, you know, all of these systems work together without stuff being broken, but I find that task impossible. I, I, I don't want to be pessimistic here, but I, I don't understand they're going to do that. I don't think they have and will never have enough manpower to test out every single build possible. And that means that players are likely going to find a cheese or game-breaking meta. I mean, you've only got to look at the track record, right, right? When this game first came out and we had broken PvP experience with this game, you've got to think about how many people were working on PvP at that time, we had Redstorm working on PvP to make sure that balancing was good. And even then, it wasn't good. Obviously, over the last two years, it's got a lot worse. And whilst they've done some changes here and there to make it better, it really isn't that much better. And so if you consider that, uh, and then you add in more possibilities, then I just I find the chances of being able to balance all of this very, very unlikely. So there is that. Now... When you can, if you take away the PvP stuff, you still got the PVE stuff, which you know, PvP has never really been much of a problem. Sure, if there's a if there's a game breaking issue or, or meta, then it's likely going to be fixed. But as it's not player on player, it's not such a big deal. Also, I did want to mention that specialization weapons are returning to PvP, and I said this at the start, but I just want to say this: I know this is going to be a huge concern for the PvP audience, and when I read this. I, it's funny, when I read this, I didn't even know uh, they'd been removed. That's kind of how little I focus on PvP in this game. I don't think I've played PvP in this game for a very long time. I think it's a genuine concern. Again, I think we need way more information to really understand how Massive intend to bring these back, but not break the PvP experience. They did give a little bit of info and said they would balance it in, in a way so that it didn't kind of... I even said it before, like an ambush tool. Uh, they have given some information to say that they're going to try and fix that. But again, I don't have very much faith in the balancing side of, of, of all of this. PvE, not such a big deal. PvP, I'm still expecting this to be a pretty broken experience in PvP, unfortunately. I guess to summarise uh, the specialization revamp news, it sounds better than what we have. But really, we need a lot more information. I was, ex I'll be honest, I was kind of, ex and I even said this before the video, I was, the video where I covered the news, I was expecting, you know, some kind of graph and spreadsheets and, and presentations and all of that sort of stuff. I really was expecting a bit more than what we actually got. We did get some good information, but it's still a bit vague, and I kind of need to see it in practice. Unfortunately, I don't anticipate any more tangible information about the revamp for, for a very long time, as each month leading up to the content release uh, in February will have a new article focused on a new change or new feature. So the chances are we ain't going to learn a lot more about this system and how it works 
until probably either the content comes out or maybe a week or two before where they might do kind of like a, a show or, or a big article covering everything where they go in a bit more a uh, bit more detail so for now I guess we are left with a lot of questions uh, which is something that we should all feel familiar with uh, but there's no doubt there's a, a little bit of excitement there brewing for me and I think overall there's a bit of excitement brewing within the community around the specialization revamp. For me, more importantly, I'm looking forward to seeing what else they, they are going to do here because the specialization revamp seems to be quite a big one. And so if they're making other big changes and, and or adding new big features, then I'm excited to see what those are. So we'll have to see what they've got planned. Thanks for watching. Please head to the comments to give your opinion, guys. Head to the poll and vote and leave your comments there as well. If you stuck around until the end, Really, really do appreciate your support. It's by far the best way that you can support me. And until the next one, epic out.